to the class children hope all are safe and healthy today in history unit 2 ancient civilization in this lesson only we are going to learn last class i explain the egyptian civilization that lesson in that part paros society mummies of egypt characteristics and the contributions of the egyptian civilization i explain today the new civilization the mesopotamian civilization going to learn mesopotamia it refers to the region of iraq and kuwait in west asia i am showing in the map several kingdoms emerged around the city states of this region from the early 3rd millennium bc here the sumerian akkadian babylonian and assyrian civilization flourished in mesopotamia about that first in geography of mesopotamia in the greek language meso means in between and potamus means river so the euphrates and the tigris the two rivers flow here and drain into the persian gulf is since this area is in between two rivers it is known as mesopotamia now it is clear in between river the mesopotamia the northern part of mesopotamia is known as assyria and the southern part is called babylonia okay next sumerians the oldest civilization is mesopotamia belonged to the sumerians in mesopotamia the oldest civilization sumerians the sumerians were the contemporaries of the people of indus and the egyptian civilization these civilization had trade connections the sumerians settled in the lower tigris valley around 5000 to 4000 bc they were believed to have originated from central asia they founded many cities they founded many cities and nippur was one of the important cities they developed the cuneiform writing system during the early phase of the sumerian civilization kings acted as the chief priest priest their political dominations came to an end by 2450 bc in the map you can see the tigris euphrates river the next the akkadian empires the akkadians dominated sumeria briefly from 2450 to 2250 bc the sargon of akkad was a famous ruler the sargon and his descendants ruled mesopotamia for more than 100 years in the cuneiform records of akkadians mention is made about the indus civilization the documents of the sargon of akkad it refer to the ships from meluha magan and dilman in the quay of akkad meluha is identified with indus valley here the accordian empire 
and a accord do you know children the city of accord later became the city of babylon a commercial and a cultural center of west asia next the babylonians the semitic people called amorites from the arabian desert they moved into mesopotamia they were known as babylonians as they established a kingdom and made babylon its capital by the time of the king hammurabi they extended their domination to the western part of mesopotamia the powerful state of u and babylon it controlled this region the hero gilgamesh referred to in the first ever epic on the earth may have been a king of sumeria hammurabi the sixth king of babylon belonging to the first amorite dynasty attained a fame as a great law maker here here in the map you can see babylonia and the invasion of cyrus to during this timing mesopotamia assyria babylon the main important cities and the two rivers the tigris and the euphrates also clearly given in this map okay children here the assyrians empire the assyrians empire was politically active in mesopotamia around 1000 bc the assyrian kings were priests of ashur the chief deity of assyria the assyrian government was controlled by the emperor and the provincial governors were appointed by the emperor to administer provinces ashur was the capital city of assyria here assyria you can see and ashur place also you can see okay maximum of the places what you are learning the, from this lesson in the assyrian empire you can see ashur banipal was a popular ruler of the late or neo assyrian empire he maintained a famous library of cuneiform records the assyrians worshipped the deity of lamasu here you can see a stone image of lamasu for protection so the assyrians worshipped the deity of lamasu for protection here you can see babylonia at the time of during hammurabi period so mesopotamia and its cities here in the map you can see next society state and administration the sumerian civilization had many city states a typical sumerian city was surrounded by cultivable land the fortified sumerian cities had their temple now you can see the great ziggurat of wo the fortified sumerian cities had their temples called ziggurats at its center the temple was controlled by the priest priest scribes and nobles were part of the government the rulers and the priest occupied the top of the social hierarchy the ruler performed the role of the chief priest the scribes merchants and artisans were placed next in the hierarchy the scribes maintained the accounts of the tax and the priest collected the tax the temples acted as storehouses of a taxed commodities assemblies were created for the administration of the state cultivable lands were owned by the kings and the higher classes of people in the hierarchy the peasants who remained to the temples in the earlier phase of mesopotamian civilization became free from that association in the later period not all people were allowed to live in the 
cities. Do you know children, the Assyrian Empire was first military state in history. They emerged military powerful because they were the earliest to use iron technology effectively. Next, food and agriculture, how it was. Agriculture, we know, agriculture was the main occupation of the Mesopotamians. They had developed irrigation systems for ensuring the availability of water for agriculture. And they cultivated wheat, barley, onions, turnips, grapes, apples and dates. They domesticated cattle, sheep and goats. Fish was part of their diet. Here, about the trade. Trade and exchange. Trade was an important economic activity of the Mesopotamian society. Traders assisted in the exchange of goods procured from the potters and artisans. They traded with Syria, with Syria and Asia Minor in the West. And in Iran and the Indus Valley Civilization in the East. They travelled in ships across the seas for trade. Their temples acted as banks and lent credit on their own account. The Mesopotamian documents have references to loan and repayment with or without interest. The first written evidence of charging an interest on borrowed money. Next children, cities and town planning. Here, Mesopotamia civilization, the cities featured mud or baked brick walls with gates. Some people lived in reed huts outside the cities. Ziggurats were in the city center on the platform and appeared like steep pyramids with staircases leading to the top. Around this temple were complexes of ceremonial courtyards, shrines, burial chambers for the priests and the priestesses, ceremonial banquet halls along with the workshops, granaries, storehouses and administrative buildings. Here about the religious beliefs. The Sumerian religion was polytheistic. Yes. They practiced polytheism, which is a belief in many gods. They worshipped several gods and goddesses. Sumerians prayed to Enlil, the god of sky and wind. The city of Nippur was the center of Enlil's worship. Ninlil was the Sumerian goddess of grain. The Babylonians worship Marduk and Ashur, or the supreme god of the Assyrians. Ishtar was the goddess of love and fertility. Tiamat, the god of the sea and the chaos, and the sin, the moon god. The kings were seen as representatives of the gods on earth. The Mesopotamians developed a rich collection of myths and legends. Most famous of these is the epic of Gilgamesh, which is written in the cuneiform text. It contains a legend of flood and his similarities with the account of Noah's are mentioned in the Bible and other myths in the Hindu Puranas. Next, Hammurabi's law code. Here children, the Hammurabi code is an important legal document which specifies the laws related to the various crimes. It has 282 provisions specifying cases related to family rights, trade, slavery, taxes and wages. It carved on a stone which portrays Hammurabi as receiving the code from the sun god Shamas. It was the compilation of old law based on re retributive principles. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. That form of justice is used in the Hammurabi code. Cuneiform tablets. Here, 
the sumerian writing system the people used the cuneiform method of writing cuneiform is the sumerian writing system the shape of the letter in the form wedge and hence it is called cuneiform here cuneiform alphabet here you can see around 3000 bc it is one of the earliest scripts of the world they used the script for commercial transaction and writing letters and stories the clay tablets the clay tablets contain loads of informations on the sumerian civilization here very clearly how it was the clay tablet about art here the mesopotamian art included sculptures in stone and clay here a few paintings and sculptures from the mesopotamian times have survived today mesopotamian sculptures portrayed animals such as goats rams bulls and lions some mythological figures like lions and bulls with a human head have also been found in their art massive sculptures were created at the time of the assyrian and the babylonian empire a clay tablet with the accounts of sheep and goats from tello southern iraq here all inside you can see different symbols here script cuneiform from pictographic to assyrian development of script is an important milestone in human history writing system began to emerge in sumeria in the later part of the 4th millennium bc hieroglyphic the egyptian system of writing developed in early 3rd millennium bc the harappans also had a system of writing around the same time but it has not yet been deciphered the chinese civilization too developed a writing system from a very early period so here the development of cuneiform script here how it was science the mesopotamians excelled in mathematics astronomy and medicine they developed the concepts of multiplication division and cubic equation the numeral system based on 60 was conceived by them they were the ones to formulate the 60 minute hour the 24 day 24 hour day and the 360 circle the sumerian calendar had 7 days in a week their numerical system had place value they created the water clock and the lunar calendar based on the movement of the moon they developed methods of measuring areas and solids they also developed advanced weight and measurement system they introduced 12 month calendar system based on lunar months their ideas influenced greek astronomy they had developed a medicinal system as well A text called the Diagnostic Handbook dated to the 11th century BCE. Babylon lists symptoms and prognosis. This indicates their scientific understanding of herbs and minerals. Here, the contributions of the Mesopotamian civilization. Mesopotamia and its contributions here given children in the screen. The inventions of the potter's wheel is credited to the Sumerians. They developed the calendar system of 360 days and divided a circle into 360 units. The cuneiform system of writing was their contribution. The Hammurabi's law code was another legacy to the Mesopotamians. So, from Mesopotamian civilization you people learnt about the four important civilizations sumerian accordians babylonian and assyrian and their society state and administration how it was 
ఫుడ్ అండ్ అగ్రికల్చర్ ట్రేడ్ అండ్ ఎక్స్చేంజ్ సిటీస్ అండ్ ద టౌన్ ప్లానింగ్ అబౌట్ ద ఇయర్ రిలీజన్ అండ్ ద ఇయర్ లా కోడ్ అండ్ ద ఇయర్ సుమేరియన్ రైటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఆర్ట్ అండ్ హౌ ఇట్ వాస్ డెవలప్ సైన్స్ దట్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఆస్ట్రానమీ అండ్ మెడిసిన్ సో ఫ్రమ్ దిస్ లెసన్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ అబౌట్ దిస్ ఐ హోప్ all you understand this topic the mesopotamian civilization okay children thank you